In Britain, most abortions take place before 12 weeks with the help of pills. It is legal for women to be given the pills, with the consent of two doctors, but she must take them inside the clinic. She cannot take them in the privacy of her own home, or she, and a doctor who helped her do this, could end up in prison for life. This is due to an obscure Victorian law that MPs are now considering ditching. In a new 10-minute rule bill introduced by Diana Johnson in the House of Commons this week, women could be able to take abortion pills bought online at home, without fear of prosecution. It comes after a group of medical professionals from the Royal College of Nursing Congress called for this change in law last year, claiming the current restrictions are needlessly intrusive and women should be able to take the abortion pill at home instead. What is the abortion pill? The abortion pill is taken to end a pregnancy. It is made up of two parts. The first is mifepristone, which works by blocking the hormone progesterone. Without it, the uterus lining breaks down and the pregnant cannot continue. Women must then take another pill called misoprostol which is put into the vagina and makes the womb contract. It causes cramping and bleeding similar to a miscarriage, and normally begins two hours after the tablet is inserted. At what stage in pregnancy can you take it? The abortion pill is typically used for early medical abortions, up to nine weeks of pregnancy. But, depending on your doctor's advice, it can also be used for late medical abortion, from nine to twenty weeks of pregnancy. In this case, the process can take longer, as the woman may need to wait between taking the two pills. It is also possible to use it for late abortion 2024 weeks, which requires an overnight stay in hospital. It may also involve feticide, where an injection is administered into the fetus to stop the heartbeat, before the abortion takes place. The pills are also taken and contractions can last 6 to 12 hours. Women can also have surgical abortions from 15 weeks of pregnancy, where the cervix is gently stretched so a suction tube can be used to remove the fetus and tissue within the womb. From 7 to 15 weeks of pregnancy, they can have suction terminations, where gentle suction is used to remove the fetus from the womb. Where can you get the abortion pill? In England, Scotland and Wales, women can access abortions through NHS services and clinics. In Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, women have limited access to abortions, which must be carried out in a hospital or a specialist licensed clinic. It means many women travel to parts of the UK where it is more easily accessible, or use sites such as Women on Web, a Netherlands-based website that sells mifepristone and misoprostol, to buy pills. How much does it cost? The abortion pill is free on the NHS. But if obtained in a private clinic, it can be more expensive. Marie Stopes charges £546 for an abortion using the abortion pill, and between £644 and £2,040 for surgical abortions. Bus charges £545 for the abortion pill, and prices go up to £1,725 for late abortions. But the clinic offers discount rates for Irish women, and both organizations accept NHS payments. Online, the pills can cost as little as £50 and in some cases, websites ask women to donate between 70 to 90 euros. Why can't you take it at home? In some areas of the UK, the second dose of the abortion pill is administered on an outpatient basis, so the abortion can be managed at home. It means that when the contractions start, women can bleed in familiar surroundings. But this is not the case everywhere, and many clinics and hospitals are bound by law to require women to take both pills on site. It means that women sometimes have to rush home to avoid the contractions and cramps beginning in public. 
How long does the process last? This depends on how far into pregnancy a woman is. If she has an early medical abortion, she can be given both pills at once. The cramps and bleeding will then start that day and usually last a few hours. Most women pass the pregnancy within four or five hours after taking misoprostol. If a woman is more than nine weeks pregnant, she will typically take the misoprostol between one and three days later. When she takes it, she should pass the pregnancy within around six hours. If a woman has a late medically induced abortion, contractions can last up to 12 hours and she will need to stay in hospital overnight. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if this helped. Let us know what information you want to know related to abortion in the comments below.